All right, hello, hello. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XI. Um, did I say 14 last time? Have I said 14 at all the last few times? I'm losing track here. Um, so we're going to do Operation Snake Eyes, where we got to save two Imperial Generals or something like that. The um, We're going to have to fight a bunch of Cutrubs, and then we're going to have to fight a couple of Lamia Notorious Monsters. Generals Karazam and Umarid have, of the Imperial Army's Arapaka Division, have disappeared from camp headquarters while on a mission on Sharug Isle. There's a high possibility that the two have been kidnapped by members of the Undead Swarm. So. Oh no, all my buffs. I believe the way this works is we have not unlimited time, but there's no rush to kill all the Cutrub. But after we kill all the Cutrub, then we go through a door up north. And one of the generals is going to be fighting a Lamia. And we can't let him die. We have to kill the Lamia and keep him alive. Which I think we ought to be able to do fairly easily. I don't think we'll have too much trouble with doing that. With our superpowered end spells. But I've been wrong before. As far as the Cutrub go, they take double damage for everything, so they shouldn't be that bad either. I think we just use in fire against them. They're undead, so they're kind of usually undead are resilient to um, what you call it, ice. Although sometimes not. I'm gonna go for in fire anyway. Go shock spikes. And it doesn't say what job the Cutrubs are. They could be thieves, they could be dark knights, they could be black mages. Um, but either way, I don't think they'll be too bad. But we have to kill them all. So, uh. We're gonna, we gonna be doing that. Looks like Dark Knights. And they have inflated HP to make up for taking double damage from everything. But, uh, even their inflated HP isn't really gonna matter. I believe they're more or less Square Enix's attempt at making undead enemies fun to fight. Everyone like big number. Big number make neuron activation happen. I believe there is five cut rope that the guide says. That would, that's what seemed to be on white scan. Although I'm not 100%, so. Guess we could look again. Yeah, that seems to be the case. The guide did not mention the Marrow Shadow Dancers. <laughs> Maybe we can sneak past the, the Shadow Dancers or something. That's why it doesn't mention them. Although you would think it would mention them. I bet the old wiki mentions them. The old wiki's good for that kind of stuff. Pointing out every little detail. Let's cut Trub over here, then we'll go west.
And I guess this assault's actually going to take a little too long, and if there's a game bay change involved in the promotion of the second lieutenant, then we're boned! But that's okay. I'm pretty sure we'll get to see most of the cutscenes anyway, and it wouldn't hurt me to have a few shorter episodes or something. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bam. No. The guide says we have to kill these cut trubs in order for the gates to the north to actually open up. No, I'm not even going to question it. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to be like, yeah, whatever. Well, I'll kill the cut trubs. Or quit, truth, or however you say it. I don't know nothing about no foreign words. I guess they're Dark Knight slash Warriors, so they, they seem to have double attack. Which I guess that makes sense. I mean, players can have sub jobs, why not monsters? Right, your casting's interrupted. I can't tell you the number of times I've seen casting interrupted on players, like when the player just gets ever so slightly pinged for like even just one damage at like 80% of the casting done. And then like players can hit monsters like 20 times while they're casting a spell, and the monster will be like, nah, nah, I wasn't interrupted. Yeah, we're getting shadow geodes in here. Okay, so we can just open this now, right? The door is locked. Huh. Well, I don't see any other cut shrubs, and I get no key. Assault is composed of several tasks which will be completed to unlock the room of release. Kill the cut shrub. Scattered around... The, about the location of I-9 or 5 cut drop. Defeat these to unlock the doors to the north. You hear a sound coming from the direction of the door. Okay, so the doors did open. Cool. Okay, we'll rebuff our haste and our end spell. I guess we'll do end thunder. We're gonna fight a, uh, a Lamia. And I, like I said, I don't know if we can just go past the Shadow Dancers or not. It says the General will be in one of the rooms fighting the Lamia, but we won't be able to see them on wide scan. And I guess that tracks. It's going to be one of these six rooms, though. It says to find him fast, and it's just like, well, I will, but... Okay, there he is. Or she? Hello! This is all just got a lot more interesting. You mercenary, let me a hand. I guess I guess the general has true sight. Uh. -huh. Maybe blind will help as well. I wonder if I can haste the general. What a cutie.
Oh, I need to rebuff, refresh. The little marrow said, "What pumps you are, what arms you have." And the little marrow said, "What juicy legs you have." <laughs> That's like a play on little piggy. General HP looking like. Guess it's okay. Now hopefully we don't have to protect the general for the rest of the damn assault, and we can just go find the other one. appreciate your assistance. My name is General Karazam. The proper authorities will be informed of your valiant effort here today. What a hottie. Good stuff. That's my kind of assault, I tell ya. Oops. I didn't have my mindset on. Shucky darn. Wasted my MP, damn it. Okay, so now that we've done that, what do we got to do? Kill Lamia number 14. At I-6, Lamia number 14 must be defeated to unlock the door to the north. Beware of Belly Dance, a sight-based AoE charm. You can turn around to avoid being charmed. Another strategy for number 14 is for the entire party to get charmed as... Number 14 will proceed to take the whole party through the gate and drop you right near the general. Well, that sounds kind of... I mean, I'll try not to get charmed, but if it happens, it happens. Let me on number 14. Alright, Sonic, my sweet cheeks. No, oh, she's a ranger. There's probably no point in blinding her, but I'll blind her anyway. Rangers at 75 have like accuracy bonus 4, which gives them an 8 plus 48 accuracy or something like that. And it only gets more ridiculous the higher they get in level. Ranger literally has so much accuracy that like they can use F rank weapons and on, like, in-game shit. Even F-rank weapons that aren't item level. No, oh, turn around, turn around! Damn it. Why, my new pet looks mel quite mellow and nourished. Perhaps a little mercenary blood might whet its appetite. Okay, you gonna actually take me through the door to the general? That's kind of funny. Didn't really want to do that this way. I want to kill you, but if I don't have to kill you, then I don't really care. Come on, charm break. Yep, there's the general. Wish he'd come over here and help me. Uh, I'm gonna put Bio 3 on her just in case she charms me again. And uh, also poison. Oh, she resists poison. Oh, she can't resist bio, so... Whatever. I'll wait for her to TP move before I put, put on another... Uh, shadow. Not a sway, that's gonna amnesia me, I think. But I turned around in time. Oh yeah. You boned Lamia number 14. You boned. But I don't want to kill you, dude. 
Do I gotta beat you up? Because I don't want to beat you up. Do not kill the general. Damage him to half HP, and the Mia number 17 will appear. Well, that's just peachy. General, I don't want to kill you. And apparently we gotta defeat Lamia number 17 in order to actually win the assault. I wonder how many people doing this assault at item level accidentally killed this guy in like one hit or something. It'd be fucking hilarious. There she is. Ow! Wait, so we, we still gotta fight him? That's not good. Please heal yourself, Conwent. I wonder if we can sleep him. I hope I didn't put Dia on him. But he might not be sleeping. Resist the spell, huh? Oh, boy, that's not good for me. Ow. Let's just use the Icarus Wing and try to finish her off. Two-legged fool! How dare you kidnap my dinner! Yeah, you okay now, buddy? Wait, you're one of those mercenaries. You have my thanks, but let us never speak of what happened here. Yeah, of course not. Of course not. The fact that you nearly killed me, the fact that I saved your punk ass, uh, the fact that the other general was way more competent than you, didn't get charmed, etc. We happened to be female as well, so I wonder I wonder if that's why she didn't get charmed, huh? 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 Mystery necklace. I'm pretty sure that turns into something that's garbage. Let's see. Chi necklace is the is the highest possibility. MP plus twenty. Salvage can serve MP plus two. Divine magic skill plus three. So yes, complete garbage. But now we should be twenty five out of twenty five, and we can go to the second lieutenant promotion. Which is effectively rank 9. Second highest rank. Okay, so we're gonna need... Three Imperial Gold pieces. And then... Two Mithril pieces... For... Every trial. So we're gonna need six Mithril pieces. And three Gold pieces. Looks like... We can just throw away this necklace. I said we can just throw away this necklace. And... I've already got two gold pieces from, like, earlier in life when something, some quest or something, maybe one of the promotion things gave them to me. I don't, I don't remember. I think it was the promotion to Sergeant Major. I, I, it's, it's, I've slept since then. But man, aren't all the assaults actually getting kind of cool now? Like, there were no bitchy, real bitchy assaults on that one. Like, we saved two generals, we assassinated three Far Eastern ninja spies, um, we killed a bunch of Kit Kieran bandits, which, I mean, that one's probably the dorkiest one we did, but I mean, even still, it was like, I don't know, it was, it was hard, hard hell fighting inside of a volcano against rat bandits. Um, we subdued elephants in the middle of Mabulja territory, and, uh, man, what was the other one? Oh, right, right, we're gonna have to, we, just because I pulled out those two gold ones, I need, I need to go buy, I need to go buy one more gold piece and six mithril pieces, and there's a guy who, uh, I might have shown off earlier in the Let's Play, I don't really fully remember. But he's on the upper ledge of Balron Way. Um, he's supposed to be like Salahim Sentinel's 
um, payroll, more or less. And you basically, you trade Imperial Standing to him for Imperial Currency. And that's how you actually get paid for your mercenary work, other than just assault points. Six of these. Yep. And I should just need one gold piece, because it says, it only says uh, three, so we only need one right now. Imperial standing uh, used to feel like it was way harder to come by, because, like, EXP used to be a lot slower. And, uh, you know, it just took a lot a lot longer to level up, and as a result, a lot longer to get Imperial Standing. Because, like, it's 10% of each EXP gain you get, so if you get 200 EXP per monster, you know, you gain 20 Imperial Standing per monster. Which would make an Imperial Gold piece worth 50 incredibly tough monsters. And of course, you get a little bit more than that with, like, uh, EXP chains, and... You know, EXP rings and stuff. Enter Nigel's office to start the quest. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> but, 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 my mission results have been so ordinary. Oh, ho, are you telling me you haven't recognized it inside you? R -r recognized what inside me? The clever cat hides his claws, is that it? Potential, my friend, potential. Potential? Potential. I'd rather you didn't blab the fact to the other employees, but I consider you to be this company's number one ace mercenary. A ace? That's right. Salahim Sentinel's shining star. Isn't that wonderful, Falzum? You're a star. I'm an a ace? A s s star? But I'm afraid of heights. Stars are so high in the sky. Damn straight. Falzum, you've got to embrace that ambition. Aim beyond the clouds. Y you're right. Falzum, or should I say Officer Cadet Falzum? Yes, ma'am? I hope you're ready to work. You'll be signing papers, tracking down text box books, all sorts of fun stuff. Please consult with me about the textbooks you need. I'll be happy to deduct the price from your pay this month. D deduct f from my pay? Uh, okay. I. I. No, I'm sorry. Do you think I pushed him a little too far, too fast? But President Naj, uh, what should we do about Falzoon? Ah, uh, never mind. Oh dear, oh dear. Ah, calm wind, what luck. Well, if it ain't our most talented Chief Sergeant. Abquiba, what are you waiting for? I'm sorry? For the love of Plan Sigma. Oh. Congratulations, calm wind. Uh, you've been selected over five... From over 5,000 mercenary candidates, it's the President's Choice for the Salahim Officer Academy. And it was a hard decision, let me tell you. <laughs> they, they were literally just trying to impress Falzum into doing it. They must need to fulfill some sort of quota. But your name was the one to make it through, Chief Sergeant Calmwind. If we weren't so busy with company administration and management, why, we'd jump for the chance to attend this prestigious school. Ain't that right, Aquaba? Uh, of course, President Naja. All the latest facilities, sumptuous meals, kind and experienced tutors. This is the sort of dream academy that produces the elite of the elite. So calm when, can I assume you're raring to enroll in the Salahim Officer Academy? Uh, ready and willing, I guess. Not the slightest hesitation. That's my boy. Abquiba, why don't you give our newest officer cadet an overview of the academy? Yes, ma'am. As you may have guessed, the Salahim Officer Academy is an affiliate of Salahim Sentinels. Well, perhaps the word academy is a little misleading. It's more of a private training facility for producing mercenary commanders. Ordinarily, our company headhunters would be scouring the world for potential candidates. Unfortunately, our budget didn't stretch to employing headhunters this term. <laughs> so it's budget reasons? That's why they were trying to get Falzum all buttered up and shit? They just make they, they they need some they need uh, they need this is military to it this is even funnier now that I've actually served in in the actual military this is fucking hilarious. 
<laughs> Ahem, yes, but this year we're selecting promising individuals from among our own ranks. You should consider yourself lucky. Usually the Academy doesn't accept anyone who hasn't passed the Grulin Interest Examination. But I've decided to take a gamble on your obvious potential and waive the required tests. Isn't this wonderful, Calm Wind? You could be playing a major role in the future direction of this company. If you continue on your current path, you'll be stuck in the non-commissioned ranks forever. Now, that's nothing to be ashamed about. But graduating from the Salahim Officer Academy will open the doors to the world of high rank and privileges. Surely you don't want to waste all that leadership potential. Of course you don't. Let's get the enrollment process rolling. Abquaba, bring the application forms. Yes, yes ma'am. You sure about this, Calm Wind? Sure, I'm sure. Can't you see Chief Sergeant Calm Wind is aching to break into a new realm of possibilities? Don't prolong his agony. Right, then let the enrollment begin. Coming right up. Yeah, I I'm never going to be able to do the Mithra R roll. It just happens too often. Actually, come on back, Abba Calm Wind may be my recommended candidate, but he's not a scholarship student. Ah, that is a pity. In that case, Calm Wind, there are some fees involved. For starters, the enrollment fee comes to one Imperial Gold piece. And then it's the initial tuition fee. That's one Imperial Gold piece, payable in advance. Lastly, there are some miscellaneous expenses. Textbooks, meals, practical exams. Those will be covered by one Imperial Gold piece. And that comes to a total of three Imperial Gold pieces. Well, that sounds like a bargain to me. And are we running some sort of charity here? Now you got it. All you gotta do is sign on the dotted line. Abquaba, take care of the paperwork over by your desk. Oh, and we don't accept payment in installments. So basically, you trade it all at once. Get ready for comedy, viewer. Get ready for comedy. Although the, uh, comedy already happened. This is the tiger. Piggy number eight has taken the bait. This is the snake, confirmed. That makes five. We're one way away from our optimal target number. One more. It shouldn't be a problem. I've got another candidate lined up. He's just getting over a small bout of denial. <laughs> I'll be sure to beat that out of him. I'm sure you'll have no problems, but there's something you should know about the candidate we just signed up. He's your superior in rank. Are we done here? I've done my part. The rest is up to you. Drill Sergeant Rongel out. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Man, even Najis Alahim is gulping talking to that guy over Link Pearl. That's funny. Alright, so basically all we gotta do now. Does he have any dialogue actually? So, he does. He just reminds you, hey, you gotta pay us money. There's your money. Back in the day, because these cost 1,000 Imperial standing a piece, you could actually sell Imperial gold pieces for like as much as 100k sometimes, depending on how, how much, how in demand they were. People were willing to pay Gil over paying Imperial standing. And I'm sure they still are, maybe. But uh, then again, I mean, EXP is so easy to get, I imagine not many people have trouble getting Imperial Standing. Especially since they came out with the Locust Monsters on Tejana Islet. They gotta be getting some mad Imperial Standing out over there. I'll go, just go fetch the Academy Guide. Don't go anywhere, sorry to keep you waiting. This is your officer, Cadet. Yes, this is Calmwind. <laughs> You're really relaxing the entry requirements this year. Well, I guess that's not my department. Let's get this one blindfolded already. The location of our academy is top secret. I hope you understand. Oh, and you'll need this. It outlines the basic procedure for undertaking the training exercises. Please keep it in a safe place. Abquaba hands you an officer academy manual. Now for the blindfold. This just got really kinky. Are we all snug and sightless? Then we're off. I deal and live in cargo. I'll hoist you up, then off I go with a heave and a yo ho ho. 
I deal and live in cargo. The bigger you are, the louder I crow. With a heave and a yo ho ho. We got besieged music. Hey, this is just the Pink Ration arena, which I haven't shown off yet. But actually, this, this, these quests were here before the Pink Ration was released. Oh, she's wearing a full ogre set. He's got full Lucent Hobbit set. Got a chicken ninja gear, a chicken raptor leather. Hey, I think we see those two Mithras standing around the fountain all the time. Hey, Falzoom actually made it in. She sure did. Classmates again. Well, I guess technically we were classmates at the Alchemist Guild. Gotta do my best to keep up with you to make this as anime as possible. For the love of Altana, would you please cease that mindless yapping? I'm the Sasuke of this training arc. Yeah. This is a school for the elite of the elite. Try to show some respect for the serious students. I, I didn't mean to. You are one of those special cases that was exempted from the ancient examinations, are you not? Well, yes, I... I am Neo Salia. Or Salia? Is the T silent? I'm just gonna say Neo Salia. I don't, I don't give a shit about his French ass name. You would do well to remember my French ass name. I assume you must be Calm Wind. You have some modicum of fame in these parts as a career mercenary. You must be quite a step up from your days as a vagabond adventurer, yes? <laughs> I can see this will be most amusing. Vagabond adventurer, dude, I, be I kill gods for a living. Pay no attention to him. You know, Saliat is the son of a Sandy Orion Baron, and graduated from the Royal University at the top of his class. He's rather taken with his own superiority. Yep, so he's the Sasuke of this arc. But I think the fact that you're considerably more well-known here doesn't sit well with his puffed upness. I mean, everyone in Alzabi has heard the name of Calm Wind. You, on the other hand, I don't think we've met. Hello, my name is Falzum. I'm Yasmeel. Ah, uh, Yasmiel wants to bone Falzum, I can tell. He's he's approachable to her, whereas Calm Wind is like a uh, celebrity. Sahian Self-Defense Force. I guess we'll be attending officer school together. Pleasure to meet you. There's still a little time before the principal's address, but we should probably move into position. There's one thing I've learned in the army. It's a good habit to keep one step ahead of the game. You try your best to. Doka tell Poshka. You know, I think I'll just slip out. If the rumors I've heard are true, this school... Don't be a scaredy cat. Those rumors are probably exaggerated anyway. I don't know. Think about it. We were chosen to become officers. That makes us the elite of the elite. We can handle anything they throw at us, even if that anything includes... Testing, testing. The principal's address is about to start. New officer candidates. Welcome to Salahim Officer Academy. Wait, isn't that... It's just Nadja with sunglasses. <laughs> I am Principal Koja Salahim. Uh-huh. Yeah, Koja, right. I hope your stay at our prestigious school is... an enriching experience. That is all. And there's Aquaba. Also, just in sunglasses. But now he, now his name is Arkuba. <laughs> Thank you for those inspiring words, Principal Salahim. I am Vice Principal Arkuba. I will be outlining basic training procedures. Hey, doesn't that Vice Principal remind you of someone? I was thinking the same thing, but then I've seen a lot of people with that haircut. I guess you're right. <clears throat> this term's curriculum will include the following courses. Infiltration. Platoon Combat. 
Survival Training. Completing these three courses will be your objective for the first term. However, any candidate who drops from the Academy without completing the term will be charged a penalty fee. You have been warned. In other words, we better all aim to finish the courses. <sighs> Naturally. For details on how to pay your tuition fees for the training course, please refer to your Officer Academy Manual. Oh my, look here, Calmwind. Let's see. Each training course requires a fee of two Imperial Mithril pieces, payable in advance to Ak Abquaba of Salahim Sentinels. And now you're in for a treat. Meet our head instructor, the famous and decorated war hero. D R Drill Sergeant Rungalouts! No, my big announcement. <laughs> she cucked him. Oh, we got serious deadly music. He's wearing dragon leggings. Uh, I guess dark gauntlets. Uh, I only know that subligar as a abatur subligar, but it might be a unicorn subligar. And then he's got a wrapper re harness and a coral cap. What a motley group of maggots! D did he just call us maggots? No talking maggots! Form up! Two ranks! Move it, move it, move it! This is now a battlefield! I knew it! This can't be happening! <laughs> right, listen up, maggots! I am Drill Sergeant Rangelouts. My word is law and your hides are mine. Right now, you maggots are less than nothing. Your pretty ranks aren't worth the spit I'd use to polish my boots. I can and will squash you under my heel at any time. This terrible man is our kind and experienced tutor? Which of you slimy maggots just spoke without my ex my permission? Was it you? Are you the chatty little maggot who disobeyed my orders? Uh, I, I'm s s sorry, sir. You want to open your mouth that badly, maggot? But why don't you keep it open? If you close your twitchy trap before I give you leave, I'll sew it shut with blood thread. Don't let him hurt me, Calm Wind. Hmm? Calm Wind? Ah, so this is the famous Calm Wind. I'll be sure to provide special treatment for our celebrity and his twitchy friend. I hope you don't mind the sight of blood. I think I'm going to faint. Okay, well, aren't you boys and girls lucky to be blessed with such an enthusiastic instructor? I look forward to seeing you all at the graduation ceremony, hopefully still breathing. This concludes our orientation. Shall we leave these new cadets in your care, Drill Sergeant? I'll whip them into shape, Vice Principal. Don't you worry. Eyes front! Even maggots like you know how to read, right? I'm asking you a question, maggots. Y yes, Drill Sergeant. I can't hear you. Yes, Drill Sergeant! Then you know how to pay your tuition fees. Get that spread away and report for training. Alright. In Navy Boot Camp, they actually made us uh, refer to them at, by, by their rank. So, yes, Petty Officer, no Petty Officer, or yes, Chief, no Chief. At one time, somebody screwed up. It was really early on. I think it was like right off, actually right off the bus from the airports, airport. And this, this guy's like, It's Petty Officer! Not yes, sir! Petty Officer! And he's like, y y Yes, Petty Chief! <laughs> and, and the Petty Officer's like, Oh, so now I'm a Petty Chief! <laughs> he just laid into the guy. Be the best that you can be. Pay your tuition fee to Abquaba of Salheim Sentinels. Prepare, prepare for the excitement of Officer Academy! <laughs> Okay. This is the kind of thing that 14 just does not provide. Okay, uh, does it let me... I guess it's loading up the cutscene. Ah, two Imperial Mithril pieces for your training course. I'll just call the Academy Guide and you can be on your way. Don't go anywhere. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh ho, this one is it. Hope you've been laying off the put. Righto, here's your blindfold. I deal with living cargo. I'll hoist you up and off I go with a heave and a yo ho ho. 
Is it, did I have one too many hoes? Ah, eh, whatever. Oh, Yasmiel's looking at Calm Wind. How about that? I gotta get out of this place. And pay the penalty fee? I don't think your pockets are that deep, darling. <laughs> oh, I'm glad to see you and Falsum didn't decide to quit. Looks like our first training course will be infiltration. Do you think you'll pass Calm Wind? Uh, oh, flying colors. <laughs> You're confident. I think I see why Falsum likes to have you around. It's very reassuring. What's up with Falsum, anyway? Terribly sorry, Drill Sergeant. My abject apologies, Drill Sergeant. No, that's not good. There must be a better phrase. <laughs> He's like trying to figure out how to talk to Rangalouts. So shall we go over what we, we know before the train course begins? Oof, I doubt anything you think you know will be helpful here. Of course, you are free to fail on your own merits. <laughs> good day, maggots. It's time for you to crawl. Form up. Today's training exercise in infiltration. A single misstep by a commanding officer in enemy territory can place an entire unit in danger. Now we need to train to prevent this. What do we need to train to prevent this kind of disaster? Perception. It is imperative that an officer have the ability to accurately assess any situation that the unit faces. To do that, you need to develop sharp eyes and keen judgment. Are you ready to train, maggots? Since I'm sure your flea-sized brains were just overwhelmed, I'll have one of your fellow maggots give a demonstration. Calm wind, you've had some experience on the battlefield. Let's see what you've learned. On the battlefield, a soldier that waits to hear the same order twice is a dead soldier. Listen up, because I'm only going to explain this once. You're going to be blindfolded. When I give the signal, remove the blindfold. In front of you, there will be a certain scene. After a brief period, you'll be blindfolded again, and I'll be interrogating you about the scene you just witnessed. You are now in heavily populated enemy territory. Stay alert. Scene 1. 3. 2. 1. Okay, so there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 chocobo chicks. Two of them are looking east, one of them is looking southwest, one of them is looking northwest, and one of them is looking northeast. <sighs> chocobos. Correct. But how many chocobos were there? Uh, I said six, right? Uh. Fuck. Okay, one was looking... Two were looking east. You slimy maggot! You call that a situation report? How many of your troops did you just lose? I should crush you under my boot right now and be done with it. Bah, I'll never get the maggoty smell off me. I tell you what, because I'm a generous and giving soul, I'm going to give you another, give you three chances to get this right. You have two chances left. Burn that scene into your brain. Scene one. Three, two, one. Okay, so there's five. There's five. Okay. Two are looking east, one is looking southwest, one is looking northwest, and one is looking northeast. Okay, what did you see? Chocobos. Five. Don't get cocky, any of you maggots should pass such a simple test. Where are you looking at, maggot? Keep your eyes locked on the scene. Next, you are smack in the middle of an enemy base. Focus all your senses on the situation before you. Scene 2. Okay, so... Four of them are looking left, three of them are looking right, and two of them are looking north. And there are nine. Four left, two north... Three, three right. How many chocobos were looking to the right? Three. How many chocobos were looking up? Two. Next. The enemy powder store is close. Or is close. Don't let your mind wander. Security is tight. Scene three. Three. 
two, one. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. There are 23 chocobos. <laughs> Time. Situation report, Calmwind. Quickly, how many chocobo chicks did you see? 23. Correct. It's enough for today. You're still a maggot, but a maggot that might live long enough to become a fly. Your eyes are sharp. I'll give you that much. As you were, soldier. Okay, so that's the first trial. Um... I saw six chocobo chicks. Are you trying to be funny, maggot? Uh, uh, I'm sorry. No, my abject apologies, drill sergeant. Uh, I'll go get my head in order, drill sergeant. Running away again, hero. Next. I saw 101 chocobos pass by, drill sergeant. I'm impressed, maggot. What unit did you serve in? Uh, I was in a special operation unit of the Sahian Self-Defense Force. And for the reason the island nation of Sah... He uh, retains its independence is part, in part due to a ruthless assassination unit. I'd rather not discuss it, Drill Sergeant. Very well, we all have our secrets, but at some point I will want to hear the reason you left. Next! So she's actually like a super badass. <laughs> I can't concentrate anymore. I don't know. This is impossible. How can the rest of you do this? Stop your squeaking, little mice. M mice? Has he taken a course in insulting Mithra? I'd rather be a maggot than a mouse. Damn demon drill sergeant. D -d Don't make him angry. Silence. What am I to do with you, these two blind mice? Supplementary training and don't even think about scurrying away. Folks, did he hear that? His ears are probably sharper than his tongue. All right, next. The Baron's son. Five females, seven males. One of the males will grow into a black chocobo. Mm, it seems that one of the male chocobos has a cold, poor thing. Well, well, Sandiorio wastes no expense in raising her noble sons. Your perception, not to mention knowledge of chocobos, is flawless. I'm, be, I'm tempted to give you full marks. But you must take care not to search for excess detail. It could lead to an error in judgment. You pass, Baron's boy. Back into line. Silver Kettle, take the chocobos back to the stables. Oh, and one of them has a cold. Take care of it. Sir, come along, little ones. Attention, maggots. This training exercise is over. Those maggots who failed need to report to me for supplementary training. Dismissed. So that would be the cats in Falzome, I guess. Okay, so. Now for task number two. We gotta give him yet more mithril pieces. Yes, yes. Righto, here's your blindfold. I'm not gonna sink it every time. Maybe next time. Greetings, maggots. Today's training exercise will be platoon combat. We'll begin by... I think we're missing a maggot. Where's the hero? I'm here, drill sergeant! I, I dropped my tuition fee on the way to the company. I tried to look for it, but, but I couldn't find it anywhere. My abject apologies, Drill Sergeant. Listen up, my heroic maggot. You like to run, don't you? Run, Drill Sergeant? The army can always use a good runner. 
Your training today will be to jog around the perimeter of the academy until I tell you otherwise. And let me hear you sing, maggot. Mom and Pa, it's sad but true. Running's all I ever do. Leave my boots if I should die. Cause I'll be running up in the sky. Salahim, Sentinels, Salahim, Sentinels. Don't stop, keep running. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's see, there, there, there was running cadence we used to do in the Navy. Um, man, how did it go? It's been too long. Okay, it's been, it's been seven years since I got out. And I guess 11 years since I did boot camp. As I was saying, today's training exercise will be platoon combat. Now, simulating a battle is not practical within the grounds of the academy. So I'll be sending you out to get some real combat experience. Meaning he does nothing while we go and find a battle to join? Keep it down, he can hear you. Finally learning, are we, Megans? Here's another thing you need to know. Your combat opponents will be Beastmen, and your task is to bring in any one piece of Beastmen equipment. Hey, hero, we can't hear your inspiring singing. Yes, drill sergeant, run my left from morn till night. Maybe someday I'll learn to fight. Just kidding. Poor fellas, though. Isn't there anything we can do to help him? Don't waste your sympathy on the hero, maggots. He might be the lucky one here. You lot are off the face of the beastmen. Once you have your piece of equipment, take it to Aquaba and Salahim Sentinels for confirmation. After your task is complete, return here for debriefing. Don't dawdle, maggots. The hero is going to keep running until all of you are done. His survival depends on your actions. Find a beastman stronghold and get that equipment. Dismissed. Now, this this has to be Otter Gone Beastman, by the way. And I bought one off the auction house already. Um... And I get them all the time. We could use this Mamulja Collar. I'm curious if we can use the Cut Trap Gorget. Because that's Undead Swarm. Okay, cool. <laughs> Man, Falsum has to run the entire time we're out fighting Beastmen. He's going to be... He's going to have... Lungs bigger than my head. Express Delivery. Get that blindfold on, then. Aquaba. Express Deliveries are extra. No song? It says here, you brought in a Momoja helmet. Nothing to it. You passed. Should have known the rodent would be good at collecting junk. R r r I mean, thank you, Drill Sergeant. Okay, that's everyone except Yasmeel. I guess the island girl didn't take the longer distances here into account. <laughs> Apologies, Drill Sergeant. Here are my confirmation papers. Did you go to the Far East for your trophy? Let me see those. Why are there two separate papers? Don't tell me you brought one for the hero's benefit. Yes, Drill Sergeant. You're walking a fine line, island girl. But part of this training exercise was to test your sense of teamwork. Anyone that leaves a wounded comrade on the battlefield is not even fit for maggot food. The hero passes as well. Hey, hero, your fellow soldiers have saved your life. Stop running and fall into line. Mom and Ma, it's sad, but yeah, yes, drill sergeant. How did this string bean ever become a mercenary? He's been running this entire time. You've got to admit he's got some stamina, if nothing else. Falzum is a mercenary. That's right. We all are, besides you and the Baron's boy. Welcome back, hero. You should thank your classmates for helping you pass. I I passed. Woohoo! <coughs> Don't think you're off the hook that easily, though. We'll be doing some one-on-one -on -one combat training later on. But like a private lesson? 
private lesson. Do you think you're learning algebra here? This will be an exercise in Mortal Kombat. You should be grateful for the experience. Y yes, Drill Sergeant. I can't hear you. Yes, Drill Sergeant! Right. Today's training is concluded. Don't worry. We've saved the best for last. Get a good night's sleep, maggots. I'll be waiting. Dismissed. Alright, so then we give even more money. I wonder if we could have been the one to make Thousand Pass if we'd given two two Beastman items instead of just one. Don't go anywhere. Meow, 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 meow. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, ho, this one again. Hope you've been laying off the button. Righto, here's your blindfold. I deal and live in cargo. I'll hoist you up, then off I go with a heave and a yo ho ho. So, what do we have to do for trial number three? The worst has happened. Your unit has become separated from the main force in enemy territory. You've lost your compass and your map. You survey the area, but all you can see are clumps of trees that all look the same. You can't even begin to estimate your unit's current coordinates. To add insult to injury, you're leading the greenest, most incompetent group of soldiers this side of Halvon. Your Link Pearl is conspicuously silent. What do you do? Answer me, Commander Hero! M me Drill Sergeant? Are you answering a question with a question, Maggot? I'm the only one asking questions here. Uh, I yell out for help. Yeah. Ah. You just identified your unit's location to every enemy within a hundred yards. You're surrounded by Mumuja troops who proceed to rip out your entrails, flay off your skin, and take your skulls for trophies. It's a rare treat on the dinner table for some lizard men family tonight. Ew! What's the course of action that must be taken to avoid this outcome? Island girl, what would you do in this hopeless predicament? First, I'd reassure my troops, then calmly assess the situation. Then I'd search my memory. I would try to retrace my steps to a familiar area, then attempt to track down and rejoin the main force. Excellent answer. Memory is key. In a desperate situation, a good memory can mean the difference between life or death. So we'll be concentrating on improving your retention skills during the survival training course. In this exercise, you will be assaulted with a barrage of questions relating to your past experiences. Your memories will be your weapon in this battle. Th think this will be easy? I'm here to tell you your memory is not as sharp as you believe. Let's start with the celebrity. Calm wind. Eight questions in all. Fire those answers back as fast as you can. Question one. What is Article 2 of the Mercenary Assessment Criteria? Uh, follow orders without... No, fulfill requests without fail. Keep those answers coming. Question two. I'm sure you remember the Dark Rider. How did President Naja describe the Rider's mount? Bigger than a merit. Keep your mind focused. Question three. This will test your knowledge of Crystal Compass manufacture. Quickly, what is the name of the place where Mithrilene liquid can be found? We're just getting started. Question four. Think back to the Kit Karen Perfumier that once visited Salahim Sentinels. What kind of company did she think Salahim Sentinels was? Detective Agency. I will weed out any slimy maggot that fails to live up to this Academy's standards. Question five. Going back to the Kikirin Perfumer, what was the name of the fragrance she created? Uh, Empyrean Incense. Do you have maggots for brains, maggot? Question six. Surely you have a place in your heart for the three subordinates you were in charge of training. What was the name of the one who always stood in the middle? Uh, Lord Jal? If you get this answer wrong, you'll stay a maggot forever. Question seven. 
this question concerns a recent event. If you can't answer this one, I'll grind you into a maggoty pulp. There was an incident involving President Nadge's Morning Star. What is the name of the weapon-devouring affliction that sent Ab Abquaba running to you for help? Black Rust. If you don't remember this, your next rank will be Chief Latrine Sergeant. Question 8. Abquaba first noticed the problem with the Morning Star completely by accident when he stripped and fell. <laughs> he tripped over his right foot. I told you that scene would be important! Oh ho, it seems our celebrity maggot retains more than just the name of his fans. You pass. Back in line. Your turn, hero. Y yes, drill sergeant. Can't you answer a single question? That's what happens when you come unprepared. Why did I allow you to participate in the previous training ex exercise when you hadn't even paid the tuition fee? So, so I could learn to become an outstanding officer, Drill Sergeant. Outstanding? Your training had to do more to do with outrunning. Yes, Drill Sergeant. Hmm. However, I must say I'm impressed with your ability to discover the location of this academy. Thank you, Drill Sergeant. Although I doubt you remember the way after I beat it out of you in our one-on-one -on -one training. Thank you, Drill Sergeant. Paul Moon, you and Falzum are selling him Sentinel's mercenaries, right? Uh, we are. So it's true. Let's do what we can to help Falzum out. He's a little shaky, but once he learns to control his nervousness, I think he has potential. I guess I'm no ace after all. Uh, believe in yourself, man. Exactly. You never know what opportunities await you, Falzum. Calm wind. Yes, meal. I consider you to be this company's number one ace mercenary. President Nadja? I... I... Are we boring you, Mr. Hero? S -s -s Sergeant! No, I've had enough of your insults and threats. Hello, did you grow a backbone, Hero? I'm not a hero. I... I'm... I'm an ace! <laughs> Are you trying to kill me with laughter? Oh, this is rich. This training exercise will be your last chance. If you fail, it's expulsion for you. You'll be washing dishes in the mercenary mess hall for the next ten years to pay off your penalty fee. Are you prepared to accept this challenge? I I accept. Oh, Falzam, I hope you know what you're doing. Oof, people are limited by the gifts with which they are born. You cannot escape the fate Altana has laid out for you. You never know unless you try. You should be supporting your classmate, Baron's boy. <laughs> you truly are naive, violent girl. You know that demon drill sergeant? Show that demon drill sergeant whose boss fouls him. Yeah, don't let him get the best of you. What's gotten into you, hero? Oh, Rag Rangelout's actually panting. Not to worry, I have your measure now. This next question will send you on a stroll down Washout Lane. You're as good as expelled. <laughs> Bring it on, Dream and Drill Sergeant. I'm an ace. There's no question I cannot answer. Impudent maggot. It's time to become anime. Question 8. You were once asked by President Nadja to help an alchemist with her work. I know this one. It's Mithrilene Water. Wahaha, ha, do you think I'd end with this in such an easy question? At the time, you received something important from someone. What was it? Something important? That's right, if you can't answer this question, you lack the qualifications to command anyone. Something important. I was asked to collect some mithrilene water. What's wrong here? Oh, time's running out. 50, 49, 48. That's it, I was given those test tubes for scooping up the water. No, wait, I only borrowed those. I didn't receive them. 
37, 36, 35. Knowledge, yes, the, the alchemy knowledge, again, when I learned about the Mithrilene process. No, that can't be right. 29, 28, 27. The reward, no, the reward wasn't that impressive. 16, 15, 14. I relied so much on Calm Wind that I don't... Eight, seven, six, three, two, one. Time's up. You lose, hero. Time for the stroll down, wash up. Friendship! I received the gift of friendship from Calm Wind. If Calm Wind hadn't helped me out back then, I would never be standing here today. If Calm Wind and the others weren't helping me now, I. I. I quit. How's him? If I couldn't find that answer staring me straight in the face, then the drill sergeant is right. I don't deserve to be here. Well done, hero. You finally found the courage to accept your shortcomings and stand on your own. Drill sergeant. D does that mean that I... But I warn you, if you address me without the proper respect in the second term, you'll be instantly expelled. Yes. Yes, calm wind, I, I passed. <laughs> passed out. <laughs> A uh, little, little bit of a, some anime going on there. Congratulations, maggots. You've completed the required courses for this term. The principal will be making an address shortly. Woohoo! We passed! Don't get cocky, little mice. I'll have your hides for a throw rug. Stand to attention, maggots. Yes, real sergeant! What, what, what happened? Falzum, are you okay? Where's the sergeant? D did I fail after all? You were rather impressive, as a matter of fact. I think I judged you a bit too quickly. Huh? What did I do? Don't you remember? That confrontation will be legend for future cadets. Testing, testing. Speakers are ready, President. Principal Koja. Thank you, Silver, Silver Kettle. Commencing the Salahim Officer Academy first term closing ceremony. I'd like to begin by congratulating the fourth class of officer cadets on the successful completion of their first term. Congratulations, everyone. However, don't forget that the second term lies ahead. Keep that intensity level high. Please step forward when your name is called, if you would, Vice Principal. Yes, ma'am. Neo Saliat, Yasmil, and Calm Wind. Drill Sergeant Rangalutz has a special announcement to make concerning these three cadets. Sit up, maggots. I'm only going to say this once. During the training exercises, you showed potential to become full officers. And so I've decided to give you the chance to receive extracurricular training. You'll be sent to the front line to gain hands-on experience as second lieutenants. Don't celebrate just yet, maggots. You have not been officially promoted. This is a test of your ability to carry out the duties of your rank. Call it a provisional promotion. If you fail to live up to the standards expected of a second lieutenant, I will strip you of your rank and have you ex immediately expelled. Remember your survival training. I'll be watching you. Now, you maggots that weren't called forward. Continue your daily regimen of training. Review the lessons you have learned. Eat three square meals a day. How's up? Y yes, drill sergeant. That goes double for you. That is all. Thank you, drill sergeant Rangalutes. Is it Ronda Louts? I don't, I don't know how to say it. I really don't. This concludes the Salahim Officer Academy first term closing ceremony. Eyes front! Your first term training is complete. Dismissed! Win, Falzum, congratulations. Well, I never expected to learn so much from a vagabond adventurer. See you next term, provisional second lieutenant, Calm Wind. Wow, second lieutenant, you're the real ace here, Calm Wind. Finally, we're free. It'll be nice to have a break from that demon drill sergeant, at least till next term. 
cadets performed well. Not one of them tried to flee from that terrifying instructor. Although I find President Naja far more frightening. <sighs> Not one of them dropped out, of course. Hmm? Well, isn't that a good thing, President? I were a Principal Koja. I was so happy for them. <laughs> she wants she wants to have them indebted to her. She wants the money. <laughs> Apquaba. Y y yes, ma'am. Why don't you go count up the profits who made this term from enrollment and tuition? If only just one of those cadets had paid the penalty fee, our margins this month would have been... <sighs> Calm wind. I still haven't changed a bit. I remember you and Yasmil encouraged me to do my best for that last training exercise, but after that... <sighs> I have a lot of work to do. Oh, I mustn't... I have to go! Hey there, celebrity! Did you know how famous you've become around here lately? You hear rumors about Calm Wind, the mighty mercenary, everywhere you go. I'd be happy to spread those rumors even further. You should thank me. Your name might end up reaching the most isolated backwater towns in the Empire. Maybe even Sah the Sahaya? Maybe not that far. Good luck with that extracurricular training. Try not to mess it up, or this one will be spreading the wrong kind of rumors. Take care. So we got we got Mithra groupies now. That was a tough turn, but I'm glad I came. Giggity, giggity, giggity. It was worth that long journey across the ocean. Do you know why? To meet my fellow cadets, especially <clears throat> Falzon. Right? Falzon. I look forward to seeing you next term, Second Lieutenant Calmwind. What what happened with the camera right there? It, like creaked over to her very slowly. Tom Wind has been promoted to second lieutenant. Ten key item, second lieutenant wildcat badge. And uh, if you actually look at these, um, yeah, the uh, the the fish keeps going up. Like it started as moat carp, and then it went up to I think bass or something, and now it's tuna. Always fish. Because she's a cat. She likes fish. But now we've got all the second lieutenant assaults available to us. And we should be rather, rather, like three-fifths of the way, over three-fifths of the way done with assaults. Let's go look. We've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 30, 37. We've done 37 out of 50 assaults. We only have 13 more assaults to do total. Of course, five of them are second lieutenant assaults, and five of them are first lieutenant assaults, so that's 10 total assaults. So we're missing three assaults somewhere. And, uh, I guess we could check that out. Uh, let's, let's look around, shall we? Well, let's see what's to come, huh? Okay, so we still haven't done Escort Professor Shenhua. Still haven't tried that one. Okay. Uh, we now have Red versus Blue. That's pretty cool. I think that's one where you, you team up with a bunch of black mages wearing red and you gotta kill uh, blue mages. And it's like, defeat the leader or something like that. Azure ailments. Okay. That's the one where you gotta get status debuffed. Operation Black Pearl, I don't remember. I think it involves either assassinating something or killing a bunch of shit. But I'll look it up real quick. Let's see, a ship carrying... Oh, this is the one where you gotta defend the princess. And if the princess gets hit even a single time, you fail. So that one might be kind of fucky. We also haven't done the Bros supplies yet. So th there's Escort Professor Chanois. The Bros supplies still. Over here we've got... Desperately seeking cephalopods. Uh, I don't remember what that one is. I should. I looked these up before. 
to increase population of special nighttime camouflage, the Imperial Marines require large quantities of secretion from a rare cephalopod known as the octopod, found in the Eleusri Atoll. This, this is the, we have to fish up. We have to fish up an Oro Bond. Um, so it's an RNG-based one that could possibly be kind of funky. And you can get, you can kill Kikirn inside. You get fishing rods and bait or something like that. But it's better if you bring your own fishing rod, I believe. Which we have one, so we should be fine. And then we've got Wake the Puppet, which... I think this is like an escort. You have to like go activate four different puppets and then escort them with by using emotes. But I think the easiest way to do it is to wake one of them up and engage them on an enemy and then get get aggro on the enemy and drag it back to where you actually need to take the puppet then kill the enemy and then deactivate the puppet it's uh it's a kind of a fucky one but we still haven't in this this one we've we've got we've got to do seagull grounded still which i'm not sure i'll be able to do alone like i might be able to do i'm pretty sure i'm able to do the the bro supplies alone at 75 but I, I, I'm not so sure about um, Seagull Grounded. I can at least try it myself at some point. I'll probably want to be Summoner for it to even give it an honest attempt. Um, although I don't think Summoner at 75 can do what this guide suggests. So we've got that. We've got Sport Professor Shenhuang. We've got Lebro Supplies. And then we've got the 5 Second Lieutenant Assaults. And we've got the 5 First Lieutenant Assaults. And that's all the assaults we got. That's all the assaults in the game. So we're almost done. We're almost done. And I would try another one, but I really gotta use the bathroom. It's also like 5 a.m. So thanks for watching. Stay safe and have a great day. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching me do the rank up mission. I guess most people just skip that now using the curio moogle, which is I think is a shame. Um, but now we're a second lieutenant. It's it's the rank nine equivalent. And uh, I think we'll more than be able to get the first lieutenant. I don't know if we'll be able to actually do the first lieutenant assaults at 75. But uh, it doesn't really matter if we can or not. Because, um, I mean, all you get for being a captain is the ability to start a mythic weapon. Which we don't need to care about yet. Because we won't be able to really work on that by ourselves at 75. The content we have to do... Where it is just too too overwhelming for a solo 75 player. But we might work on one of those later in our lives. But now we actually get access to more Purdue weapons. Um, it costs 48,000 per weapon. The sword is actually a great sword, I'm pretty sure. And for some reason they couldn't make it gold. I guess it would look too much like the relic or something. So they, they made it black. And um, I guess it's actually one of the better level 75 great swords, but um, we already have the martial great sword, which at 75 is, is way better due to how the great sword weapon skills all fluctuate wildly with TP. Um, Purdue Blade is for ninja. It's a really good offhand katana. Uh, I might get it. I might not. I haven't really been playing Ninja a lot, uh, just because Red Mage is so much better. Like, when you have every job leveled, your options are limitless, but at the same time, you will tend to gravitate towards the jobs that you that are noticeably better to you. So, like, when we need, like, a little bit of everything, it's Red Mage. When we need an, an intense amount of damage, it's either Warrior or Dark Knight. When we need, like, weird pet shit, it's either Summoner or Puppet Master. Um, and then, like, I don't know, when we need, like, other stuff, you know, it's a job-by-job -job basis. So I, I don't know if I'll pick up a new blade. Uh, it feels like it'd be kind of a waste, but there's not a whole lot of other stuff I can do with my Imperial Standing anyway. But not right now. Uh, we would be getting a Purdue Vold if we couldn't augment the Biakos X. But since we already augmented the Biakos X, the Purdue Vold doesn't stand a chance. 
But this, I used this axe from like 2007 until like, actually 2006, from from like 2006, late, late 2006, like December 2006. Um, actually, no, I guess I got it in the spring of 2007. Whatever. Either way, I used this, this great axe for like three years, almost. Something like that. Almost, like two and a half years. It was a, it was a big deal back in the day. Um... And the other options, I don't even really care about. I guess the Purdue crossbow might be decent. But, like, there's other... Cro like, we already have a crossbow that's pretty much that good and doesn't have to rely on a latent. But something I'm actually interested to get on the first lieutenant is this lieutenant's cape. It has an enchantment. Restores HP and MP. You can use that enchantment 100 times. It has a 30-minute recharge time. But, it basically, it restores your HP and MP by... Um, I think it's it's um, 50 and 25 percent. So it's essentially an elixir that you can use 100 times. Uh, so it's basically 100 elixirs for 56,000 imperial standing, which I mean, it's debatable on how useful it is. But like, I mean, 100 elixirs, like I think that's that's pretty good. So, but anyway, thanks for watching. Stay safe and have a great day. I'll see you again. We will try the second lieutenant assaults, or maybe some of the ones we, we passed up before next time. Please look forward to it, and have, have a good one.